Hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. And we're we are set to go. So, let's let's go. I think we're gonna head to the Warden's Keep, right? Do I have any what quests do I have here? I don't think I have any that need to be turned in. Oh, I, we do have the gift of silence. We do have and we do have ten lesser lyrium potions. You know, let's do that really quick. Who are we bringing with me to the Warden's Keep? Yes. We'll try using Shale. It'll be my first time using her in a long time. We'll bring more again. Indeed. And I'm tempted to bring Alistar with me. Or Liliana? We'll bring Liliana. Indeed. And I don't remember where I'm actually... Oh, I'm situated in Honolith at the moment. So let's go back up to Redcliffe Village and turn this one quest in. After we fight something on the way. A ton of dark spawn. Okay, let's start by knocking out the emissary. I bet you there's traps all over the place. Shale. What's your hurl boulder? Do you have a hurl boulder? Quake. All right, we're gonna put you in DPS mode. So pulverizing blows, offensive talents, gains a bonus of damage, armor penetration, and she gains a bonus that damage with killing blow. Liliana? Why don't you switch to your... No. We'll just, we'll just run you up. You should be hopefully see any traps. And let's try a horror on the alpha. Trap detected. Okay, so there are traps around. Ooch. Oh, where are you running to? I thought you wanted to put horror on the alpha. Ready. Oh, that actually worked. Excellent. We'll try slamming him on the ground. Activate cross weapons. Oh, wow. Yep. There are lots of traps. Good thing I brought Liliana with me. Morgan, why don't you attack him? I'm gonna attack him as well. Oop, that's the wrong thing. Oh, okay, I put the walking bomb on something, I see. Liliana, you're taking a lot of damage. Oh, because you ran into the explosion. Perfect. Alright, their spellcaster is freed. Let's try stunning him. Their champion is down. Alright, awesome. We survived that ambush. Let's see what's right ahead. Save the game. And then mm -hmm. move the body. Six silver, thirty-five copper. That was fun. Hey, what a what a fun little fight that was. Right ahead. And some death route. And I don't well, you know what? I can get something to talk about. So I just finished I guess we'll talk about other let's plays while we while we do while we do this. Here I am. So Grim Dawn Alpha, I've just finished the Act 3 content. It was awesome. Well, the Act 3 content that's been released right so far. Yeah, we're, we're going to also undo all of these because they're all worth experience points. So we might get a single square out of, out of all this. 
77 silver on the Herlock Alpha. Yeah, so Grim, Grim Rock, Grim Dawn, the Grim Dawn Act 3 content has been done. Oh, what a what an amazingly fun action RPG. Just when I think I'm done playing it, I end up firing it up while I'm busy compressing files. I started up Baldur's Gate, and I can I can tell that right away. they used they, they being I suppose Bioware used a great deal of what they had done there in this game. Mm -hmm. I view Baldur's Gate as a top-down version of this game, basically. Since combat, I pause the game and reassign people. So the pathing in this game seems to be better on the whole than Baldur's Gate was. It's my first time playing Baldur's Gate. And so, I'm the only thing I remember about it, even though I said it's the first time playing it, is my, my first time playing it. I remember watching my roommate play it a long time ago when I had a roommate back in college. That would be lightning reflexes. You probably have disarmed the tons and tons of traps. I am recording this, right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, I remember I, to this day uh, the location of uh, this ring of wizardry, which you can start out with if you know where to look for it. Pretty funny, actually. Because I, I made a human mage similar to Galvin here, and that's probably the worst thing you could do. There's also some mods, of course, that people have released for it these days. So I have a graphical right ahead. a graphical update for it, something that makes the text easier to read, and something that lets me add potions to the game. I heard there was a, quite a few other mods out there, like something called the Tutu mod or something, but I decided not to download anything that could make the game easier than it is currently, as it were. Alright, that's it for this area. Let's save the game, Shale. Let's put you into... Stoneheart, which will be your tanking form. Now, I don't know what to give you for equipment, so we'll say we'll stick with this at the moment. I'm so glad I brought Liliana with me. That was a ton. That was a ton <laughs> of traps around me. I wonder, I'm, gonna, I'm going to start recording again when we're at the Knight Templar, who's just up ahead of the windmill. I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, everyone, here we are. I think we have to bring the 10 Lyran potions to this person. Move along, friend. I have a gift for you from the Mages Collective. Oh, wonderful. I always appreciate correspondence from my upstanding friends in the Collective. On behalf of myself and my men, I thank you. I'll make sure the Collective's generosity is reciprocated. On your way now. Quest completed, and I think we can just turn that in right here. So, we'll do so. And I'll try to think of something else to talk about, since my companions may talk amongst themselves when we cross over the bridge down here. So let's think, what else about Baldur's Gate has been happening? Well, I just more or less started it. I have a full group of six people. I'm assuming that you're watching this, you might be familiar with Baldur's Gate. If not, it's it's pretty fun. It uses the second edition Dungeons and Dragons rule set, which was always my favorite. Being a mage, though, oh, the game starts at level one, which has never been. I've never been a fan of starting someone so weak in D and D. Normally, when I was a DM, I always started my groups at level two or three, just be, mostly because I always played four-player groups, and level one always seemed too weak especially for the mages that were around back then. I never actually had a pure mage anyway in any of the groups that I was DM for. My mages as well, when I people started to express an interest in maybe playing one, I redesigned the class to, be, to use a mana system for their spells, rather than having to memorize them. And when I was a DM a long time ago, I never... The, all the basic classes felt too bland, so I had made my own classes up. I think I had made like 14 or 16, and it was great! All, all my players seemed to really like the idea, it was a very story-themed game and, and whatnot. They, they really liked the amount of depth I put into it. I could go on and on about it. Maybe I will, I will do so at a different time. But for Baldur's Gate, oh, level 1 starting mage, oh god, and plus it's 2nd edition. 
so that means that you need at least a 15 in a stat, with the exception maybe of Charisma, which I think a 13 is when you start seeing the benefits there, in order to really, well, see any benefits, as it were. So, oh, I, I'm i not a fan of making of playing god characters, as it were, so uh, making a character that has like an 18 intelligence and 17 dex with a 16 Charisma and Constitution seems way, way overpowered. Oh, did we not complete this quest? Return to make okay, yeah, we did. Oh, interesting, he doesn't have the thing over his head. Oh! Is it not here? Do I have to turn it in at a particular Mage's Collective? I didn't think I did. Alright, well, let's, let's, let's do this. What was I talking about? Oh, yes! So this type of game here, because I don't have a good feel for what would be a god character, I don't, I don't care so much my stats in this one. But, oh... The, you have to re rolling over and over and over and over again to make your starting character. Oh, that seems like a real pain in the butt. I, I'm a much more of a fan of point buying systems like this game has for your starting stats. Hello, Mr. Liaison. Take this. You've earned it. One gold earned for the lyrium potions. And a quest completed. Do we earn anything else? I don't think so. No, it certainly does not seem that way. Okay. Yeah, Boulder's Gate. It's, it's pretty fun. So what, what have I done so far? Again, I, I'm assuming that you've, you've played the game. If not, it is pretty fun. I do like it. I, I At first, I hated the game because I kept dying over and over and over again. Again, being a, a level one human mage <laughs> is pretty grueling. But thankfully, the game gives you max hit points, at least for start for first level. The game doesn't seed its random numbers generator. So if you get a bad roll, you can just attempt it again. So for example, leveling up, if you get in in Dungeons & Dragons, just in case you, don't, you haven't played the game, when you level up there, you don't get a fixed number of hit points. You get a random number. You roll basically a, a dice of a certain number of sides, depending upon your class. So if, let's say, your fighter got 3 hit points, and you know the maximum he can get is 13, I'm sorry, 12, then odds are you rolled a 1 on a 10-sided on a dice. So you proudly just reload the game again. And you lose characters so often because low-level groups, ugh, you lose characters so often. So saving the game constantly, and <laughs> reloading the game constantly seems to be a theme with me in that one. Unlike Dragon Age here, where I, haven't, I have yet to lose the whole group, I've lost my whole group in Baldur's Gate at least 18 to 28 times by now. Especially in the beginning when it was just me and one other character. And we just died over and over again outside this one inn to like the this bounty hunter that that goes after you. Holy crap, what were they thinking? Adding adding such a fight at the very beginning. If if you miss the bounty hunter when he's casting a spell, you don't interrupt them, and then it's over. The, the fight's basically over, you might as well just reload it, because you cast a fear spell, and you run around, and that's it. And none of the guards in town care about it whatsoever. Which I suppose is fair enough, since later on, you'll be doing the killing in towns. And I've gotten into the habit of, whenever I enter an inn, the moment someone begins walking towards me and talking at me, I immediately attack that person. Because it seems like every inn and tavern is filled, has a bounty hunter waiting for you to show up, because it's a safe place to rest. And as a, as a mage, you need to rest all the freaking time. Because, oh, you have to rest eight hours to recover your spells. That's just, that's just crazy. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> and I guess when it came to making my own classes, I, I thought about what it would be to have fun in the game. And it seemed like running around as a level one mage with one spell, you hold on to your sleep spell or color spray or... Heaven forbid you took Magic Missile. That, that was a mistake. But you run around with that one spell, waiting for the most opportune time to cast it, because you, you won't get another chance during the whole adventure. It just seems such a waste. Ah, it's so aggravating. And these companions didn't, didn't speak at all, and this, this, this was basically like 10 minutes of time to get one gold. How are we doing, by the way? Wow, 43. 43 gold. We need Elf Root. Hmm. I'm thinking we might do things a little out of order this next time around. I remember, I think I remember the order which I did things the last time I played Dragon Age. 
I think we did Red Cliff. Then we did the Circle. Then we did the Warden's Keep. I no. Then we did Honolath. I didn't do Warden's Keep because I didn't have it. And then I think it went to the. I think I went to the Deep Roads in Orzammar. But I think this time I may go to the Brazilian Forest next instead. Yeah, I think I think we will do that. Okay. All right, everyone, we're leaving. Let's head to the Warden's Keep. So, oh, sorry, Soldier's Peak. Atop a maze of abandoned mining tunnels lies the old Grey Warden base of Soldier's Peak. This is quite a long trip. I would imagine we're going to have an encounter halfway there. Probably around here. On that little hut right there. Little house. Oh, no! No encounter? No encounter. Nice, made it there one piece. Here we are. Soldier's Peak. Maker's breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Yeah, she's impressive, that's for certain. It's just teeming with history. Can't you feel it? So, I'll follow you about. From a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Some people call this place the Lost Peak. Before King Merrick's decree, the last Grey Wardens of Ferelden lived here. I just got chills. Oh, that's awesome, Liliana. Thank you for the history. I'll save it as well. That was the game auto-saving, which means we might have a combat up ahead. Your word? We're gonna try this group. Yeah, we're gonna try this group. So here we go. Let's take a look. Actually, while we're here, let's talk to Liliana really quick. Something I can help with? What do you know of this place? Next to nothing, I'm afraid. Perhaps there is little to know about this place, or I simply have not discovered its secrets yet. Okay, let's move on. I forgot about that. Liliana can give you a little bit of history about some of the locations that you visit. Morgan? I await your command. Never mind. Okay, and sh Okay, we're not Okay, so no one... I don't think anyone else here has anything... Oh! Ah, I forgot to bring Poppy with me to search this area, but we'll, we'll be okay. Okay, that's a dead end. I'm going to go with Morgan and I have, because we're mages, we have cantrips memorized. That keeps us warm, despite the, our clothes being what they are. That's going to fall behind me, isn't it? And trap me in here. It, this is blind, everyone. I don't know what's. I don't know what's what's coming up. Already. Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hole up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard an Orlesian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. How is this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. The veil is thin here. The circle tower was that way, too. The veil? That's what separates us from the Fade and Demons. Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you. That wasn't me, that was the game again, auto-saving.
several airways to go. We can't go through the, the awesome looking door. Arlen Skeletons. Corpses, perfect. We may end up getting some corpse skull while we're here. I did not realize there was uh, there was gonna be more on the other side. Good job, Shale. No. Let's try it. No, I'm using stone. F I'm oh uh, yes, I am using stone hearts. Let's try roaring. Get everyone on me. No, that was like a single one. Oh, it looks like they have a spellcaster back there. We have our lightning gloves here. We should definitely be using them. Oh, we have even more of them. Choice but to take a potion with at least you. Good to go. Liliana, let's be protected. On. They have Liana. They have this guy has a walking bomb on him. 
There we go. Now you can go in there. Ready. Oh, Liliana, you're gonna drop dead. Fun, but we lost both our lesser healing poultices. And definitely, we are going to be going after the Brazilian forest after this. Antique Warding Crossbow. Plus one damage and gives rapid aim. 18 strength. Probably good for Alistar or someone. It is begun. Acidic coating. Warden Skeletons. Oh, wow. We're fighting old Grey Wardens. Okay, let's search the leftover bodies. We can go ahead and run the search these rather than just walk around. A Lesser Lyrium Potion. Nineteen Silver. Well, we made it up this far. I guess we'll search what's up here now. to a mine. A statue. Ancient History. On the establishment of the History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 1, as well. Wow, this place is pretty defensible here. I would imagine. You can't fit the whole... Well, I guess you could fit the whole army up here, but they'd be pretty close together. Then again, I don't see any mounts or boiling oil or anything of the sort here. I guess the wards keep never expected to be sieged. Ah, oh, wow. Thinking of sieging reminds me of Dark Age of Camelot and or Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning. Wow, I miss those games. Those are so much fun. I love the camaraderie that was that was there. Save the game, so we don't walk all the way back up there again. I've almost leveled up as well. How, see that, how is everyone else? She has, you are nowhere Let near leveling. Go. Morgan and Liliana might level up in here. No corpse skulls on those bodies, by the way. Alright, nothing down here either. Okay, so we can just dash back to the staircase. And so we have an a keep entrance, second floor, and a tower. Really? I didn't see any entrances over here. That is closed to me. Well, if we can go in them, I guess we'll do so later. This might be on the inside of the keep. I had to shield Liliana twice. Maybe I should bring Alistar instead of Morrigan. No, I would like... Oh, you know what? It might make sense to have Alistar here instead of Morrigan. Oh? But then I can't... Ch no, we're here now. We're here now. Alistar might be more interested in the contents of this keep than Morgan might be. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim! 
Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. <laughs> So brave, even when starving, and my great-great-grandmother stood with them. It sounds like there is greatness in your blood. Oh, well, that's kind of you to say. Generations of Drydens have said that our stock were lions. Fierce, proud, and noble. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Statement of Defiance. This poster reads, On these grounds, virtuous men stood against a tyrant. They stood defiant and stood for freedom. And they died. It is signed by the Grey Warden defenders who were besieged by King Arlen's forces. Read the names of the fallen. Captain... Oh, I'm probably going to have to write this down, aren't I? Captain Milo, the Black Ferret... Chair Thrower Lopez, that's an interesting name. Sir Derek of Orlay. And Jason the Longbow. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to write this down. Oh, I should though, just in case. Alan the Quibbler, Cartography, Cartography Martyr, Cartography Martyr, David the Silent, Dustin the Colorblind, E. Benger. Of the bro Bovine Brethren. That is an awesome name for a group. Cow friends? That's kind of a cow family? Feral the Feral. <laughs> These are awesome names for an adventuring group. Sir Graham the Untiring. Jason Sandless Argonauts? Oh, come on. That's awesome. Jason and the Argonauts? You might be too young, viewer, to to remember that movie. From when was that? The 70s? I think that was in the 70s. Okay, I I am not writing all these down. This is just too much. Langley the Nefarious, Lucky Lusana, Mad Dog Smitos, Matthias the Bloody, McGurk the Vile Priest, Melissa the Magical Male Factor, Om the Stretched, and Pack Right Pack Rat Dirksen. Sergeant Red Morrison. Santos the Silent Simidar, Vitrolic Eric, Weak Eye Santos, and Wilburn the Exhaustive Fire. Interesting names. Lovely. So we're fighting things that can cast weakness. I think that's spirit. I don't have any spirit here. An arcane horror. The last one of these was able to cast a chain lightning, so we'll do that as well. Shale, charge forward at it. I don't think horror's gonna work on him. Morgan, let's ready. try it. Miasma. What 
Let's put a vulnerability on him. Wow, Liliana, you should be charging in there. In you go. Good to go. That's a fireball. It is too late. We have lost everyone here, and I shielded him. And of course, it's all fire damage, which is, you know, why I took off the fire stuff. There we go. That was a disaster, but we won, and we didn't have to use a healing potion, so good for us. I am here. Let's just leave frost weapons in effect. 40 silver, 54 copper on that arcane horror. A note on the table, I guess we'll search that. We'll also save the game because we won. A letter from Ban... something. It's a note. I guess... Oh, I guess we'll read it now. Sophia, our Ruan and his entire family have been slaughtered, even the children. The Ruan line is no more, and Arlen belongs to the Crown, for now. Arlen believed Ruan was plotting against him. A Ron? Ron? Ron, I think is his name. Ron criticized the king's spending on Wintersen. That is all. It was an idle word spoken out of turn. The king goes too far. His brain is filled with madness, and he clings to the crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw. Sophia, I beg you, help us. If nothing is done, war will suffer. Your humble servant, Wolf. Warden Skell- I- Look at all these skeletons just sitting right there. Waiting for me to pop in there. Whatever. And me. Oh great, doesn't that just figure? She'll turn around and target him, and why don't you bellow at him? And go and attack. Okay, that was, that was well, I thought that was nicely done on my part. I thought that was nicely done. Chainmail, which is basically junk, tier 4. Instance of Awareness, which we already have on you. And a Lesser Ice Salve. Your wish? Some tier 5 scale armor. 
how is that compared to what you're wearing? Oh, we don't have the strength for it anyway. Better armor, slightly more fatigue, but we lose a constitution and spell resistance. I think, Liliana, you have 20 strength? 22. No, you won't be able to get that for at least a few, a few levels, and I don't think we will want that on you anyway. Right. Acidic coating. Does that look anything? Oh, there is a note up here. There is a note up here, though. Ten silver, twenty-two copper. Fine. A plea from Commander Althar. Mm -hmm. Athlar. Oh, the guy we just killed. That's oh, right. The skeleton down there that we just re-killed. That's a good looking dwarf up there. I wonder who that's supposed to be a picture of. So there are demons around. This looks like the perfect place for a trap. Liana, are there any there? None that you can see. Old kitchen, it looks like. And a chest is in here. I don't see anything else. Nothing else is highlighting either. Is the chest locked? It is not locked. We'll have to go get it, Liliana. Wow, there's still a fireplace lit here. Mm -hmm. A tier 3 leather helmet. Not better than what you're currently wearing. It's better than what you're wearing, though, Morgan. No, you're wearing the same thing. Wait, you're wearing the same thing? Of course. I have a better helmet for you? No, I don't. Oh, hold on. Liliana. Believe it or not, you can wear the Helm of Honolith, which is slightly less... Oh, it's more armor and plus two to all attributes. Wow. Okay, done. I forgot all about that. You're not using any special bolts. Let's put... Oh, we can't use the bolts anyway. Actually, if we're going to wear that, then Morgan, you can... Oh, you need more strength? 17 strength. What's your current strength? Nope, no luck. Okay. Whatever. It's not going to happen. A door did nowhere. That must lead outside. I shall do it. Lots and lots of things are going to stand up on us. Archivist.
Wow, the Archivist is just standing there. He's not doing anything. I guess that works out. That works for me. figure. <laughs> Battle's over, and it's not quite over. We're fighting light. We're fighting... Lots of fire things, so we should be not having the fire. We should be not... We should not Fine. being. Oh, nice! This guy had a small flaw, lightning crystal. The hint that I, I was probably correct. I just stated that. If it must. A lesser health. Oh, health poultices. We don't have any of them on your hot bar, Shale. We probably should put some. Resistance items down there as well. Just don't order me. Bah. This book is badly burned. You can make out a word here or there, and that is all. The door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our Grand Rebellion so close, and to die here a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? Another one? Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. Maybe there are other records. We can only hope. We know most about this lore from what we read earlier. Archivist has some junky chainmail and another less lesser elixir of grounding, which is a lightning resistant item. Potion. History of the Soldiers, Peak, Part 2. 